Hiya, my name is Veronica, Imaginavator and host. Welcome to the Shabu Prince Artist Studio where you and I will play hard and embark on your new odyssey. It's an inward journey of discovery using your enlivened sense of wonder. Each episode will offer you surprising experiences for deeper imagination and creativity to occur. This is your safe playground where you will discover and liberate your creative originality. Come on in and let's ride. Hiya, it's Veronica, your Imaginovator here, and welcome back to your new Odyssey, an inward journey to your imagination. So we're back here at the Shabu Artist Studio, which is our playground, which is a place where you and I are safe to play, to imagine big, to hope big, to believe big again. And we do that here through play and joy and creativity and imagination. And it's for, it's for us grown-ups. <laughs> Hiya, I'm your assistant, Imaginovator Veronica, and I will help you get the most out of your new Odyssey, a program unlike anything you've ever seen before. Each episode is a grab bag of various creativity experiences and activities that will get you thinking in new ways and increase your curiosity for your imagination and creative self-expression. All you have to do is sit back, have an open mind, and watch. And I guarantee you will get something good for yourself out of the next half hour. How was your week? Did you spend a lot of it imagining things? Did you spend, did you do any imagination exercises? Does your situation allow it? For many, it doesn't. And that's okay. It's just a part of our adult world where we step out of the Shibu Artist Studio and you're back to your to-do lists and responsibilities and the shoulds and the stuff that isn't so fun and fulfilling. I get it. It's a part of, of it's a factual part of, of being a grown up. But in order to sustain that, I'm telling you, you can't if you don't still stay in contact with your original creative self. I've tried that too, you know. I mean, I went on the fast track of, of doing the corporate work and, and the cubicle work and, and all of that. And, it, and I found myself bigger than those spaces. So I know what it's like to have to do what you need to do. I have also experienced greater joy, fulfillment, and success breaking out of that. But the only way I could have done that is finally by following my heart and my natural creative impulses. And I didn't even know what real joy was until I had to remember what it was like when I was young, doing the things that brought me joy when I was young and I started to do more of those things. And so I'm here to tell you as adults that we've got the goods. We've always had the goods. We were born with the goods. But somehow we got kind of changed and those things we don't do as much anymore. But those are the things that bring us fulfillment. And if you can only grab a half an hour a week to come here to the Shabu Artist Studio on your new Odyssey, then it's something. Because here, this is all for you and so are you getting an idea and a glimpse of your imagination your potential your creative potential have you felt moments where it's like wow that was a good idea or that's neat or what the heck was that that I just imagined or experienced that's good here we can have more of that and here you can harbor the hope of returning back to that youthful joyful exuberant creative person you know is inside you and one of your superpowers is your imagination and we're gonna shake it up this week <laughs> 
I'm so grateful that our imaginations are filled with fantastic characters because they bring us joy and encourage us to think outside of the ordinary, help you see life from new angles, remind you of possibility, focus your attention on something surprising for a change, supports an immersive imaginary experience, Tricks the mind to suspend your disbelief. Reduces your doubt that you are not imaginative enough. <laughs> and they're fun to play with! Fantastic characters such as the ones made here by Imaginovator Veronica come alive with your imagination and communicate the messages of your heart in playful ways. How helpful they can be to your creativity depends on how open you are to wandering outside of your comfort zone. And by now you know that being able to wander far outside of conventional thinking is where your original creative self and your best ideas wait. It's a fun and easy way, different from your kaleidoscope journeys, to practice quieting your mind and stretching your far out imagination. <laughs> imagination is the great equalizer. Everyone can do this. All it takes is your willingness to try. For instance, here's a snippet of fantastic fun that's sure to surprise your mind. Ho ho! Hi, Jer. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, the spread looks good. Hey, place looks good. They should be here any minute, eh? I wasn't in Jerry's house two minutes before I saw a dog card. Uh, Jer, finish what you were doing. Don't mind me. I'll wait here. Now, I was well aware that these dog cards were magical. I already entered the worlds of the Chihuahua, the German Shepherd, the Rottweiler, and the Dachshund. And I also knew that when I saw them wink, a new adventure was about to begin. Uh, stay in the kitchen, Jer. I'll answer the door once the doorbell rings. And I jumped in. Yow! What kind of wonderland is this? I love this world. <coughs> My eyes followed the bark where I saw a beautiful brown husky towing a wooden sled. Time to follow. The husky spotted a small colony of penguins on the horizon and curiously approached. To his right was the majority of the colony talking and socializing. To his left was a singular penguin, rather unnoticed. Hello! Hello there! Over here! Yoo-hoo! How you doing? Hello there! Over here! Yoo-hoo! Hello! Aww. Not wanting to leave the frustrated penguin, the husky pulled oh, his sled up hello. to the little guy with an invitation. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Ah! The penguin didn't expect the fast ride, and he wailed and wailed until he saw the potential for fun. Ah. Funny how all it takes oh. is a change in outlook. Whoa! Whoa! And there he goes! He's on the top of the heap, going faster than everybody else. Beautiful. Oh! A world that's always new and bright. A world that's new and bright. Coloring the world with my heart makes it far more vast and wide. I see how beauty abounds, and this is what wonderful right. <gasps> Yikes! <coughs> huh? <coughs> hmm. Okay. I'm pleased you enjoyed it. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. Too kind. Too kind. Ta da! I adore my fan! <laughs> so funny that you say that because that's the same thing that happened to me last week. It was when I was in the. What the? Another dog card. 
excuse me, guys, there's someone across the room that I just have to meet. <laughs> Let's now awaken your heart with an introspective question. Notice any resistance you may feel or messages from the mind that may keep you from your deeper knowing. Let your heart respond. Your heart never lies. More Imagine Ovation, please! Well, lucky for you, we're going to do just that. <laughs> so we've been using lots of fun ways for us to go in with our imagination and have other kinds of experiences that are beyond this, right? That's what this is about. Because when you expand into your imagination, you will get messages from your heart and your real original creative self. Uh, on which way to go, how, how to make choices. You can even go to these places if you are needing a new idea or a solution because that's where they reside, is out there in your, the far out plane of your imagination and creativity. Creativity is a tricky monkey, right? It's elusive. People try to explain what it is all the time. And you can't because it's yours. Your creativity is yours. And I can't describe what that is for you, but it is your freedom of expression. And when it starts to flow and you start to see images and things, it does speak in, in metaphor um, and imagery when they start to pop, that, those are yours. And what you do well, that's yours. What you want to do, what you have fun doing, that's yours. And all that is an expression of your original creative self. So when you are looking at something, especially on these journeys, for instance, but even in life, and you notice a detail, it could be looking at a cover of a book and there's a detail that catches your attention and then your mind says, move on and you move on and you, you do something else. Those things that snag your heart, that catch your heart for just a moment before your mind kicks in and says, never mind, those, those I believe have keys. Those I believe are important. Those, I believe, are your breadcrumbs to kind of come this way, do this, think this way, consider that. It's, so it's becoming mindful of what those breadcrumbs are. And these exercises are excellent for you to start noticing your breadcrumbs. I call those breadcrumbs, those moments when you notice, when your heart catches something and says that there's information in there for you, I call those moments imagine ovation blips. Anything you notice kind of for that moment, it's very fast where your heart will go, ooh, that is something you might want to think about writing down. And what you'll notice after a while is you're starting to collect these blips and they become a mosaic of who you really are. So while you might, your mind might say, this is silly, what the heck are we doing here? Get the heck out. Your heart has a chance to communicate with you and it communicates through metaphor and imagery. And so allow yourself to do just that on these exercises. These are potent and it's fun and they're fantastic characters. This immersive exercise combines the recognizable with the unexpected and will move you further onto the vast plane of your imagination. 
Any details that catch your attention in the image we are about to show you may awaken and be recognized by your original creative self. Use this exercise to swim in the fantastic with no risk or judgment and to become more aware of how closed or open your mind is when you are asked to imaginovate with this fantastic character. I'm so excited that we're together again in this field of possibility. So let's expand outside of all that your mind knows and into the vastness of what could be. Feel the relief that comes with your expansion. Let go of the breath you have held for so long. Explore what you know deep down inside is there. Let's touch down someplace familiar and explore the magic that is just beneath its surface. We know that everything may look conventional, but it isn't. We know that there is magic everywhere, that there is more to this life than we can see. It's how we found each other and have come together right now. And that the only way to access it is by using our far out imaginovation As you relax, feel the outline of your body begin to soften and blur. Float into a new reality where your heart is finally free to express itself. And today, it will use this ancient wise one. It knows who you really are and who you've always been. Your deeper creativity comes from the focused attention of your heart. So let's focus. The heart sees everything more quickly and instantly. It recognizes that wisdom lies within the details of everything. So look deeply at this fantastic character. 
truth does not speak through words, but through metaphor and image. Use your beautiful mind as the non-judgmental note taker for this time. Look upon this wise one using your heart for clues it wishes you to know. Note any detail, however small, that catches the attention of your heart. They possess something that your heart recognizes, and so they are important to your original creative self. Creativity flows from the attentive love for the details seen with your heart. In this image of this ancient wise one is information about who you really are and what you need right now. And now that you have finally, finally reconnected with your original creative self through the fantastic. It has something very important to share with you. On the count of three, this wise one will whip its angelic cloth and look deeply into your soul, releasing a deep truth within your heart. The time for this deeper knowing is now. One. Two. Three. Let this deeper truth wash over you. Feel what this truth may be freeing you from. this real part of you back into your daily life.
thanks to your imagination and this ancient wise one, you are forever changed now. Never forget feeling the vastness of your creative potential and inner wisdom. Never forget what it's like to imaginovate into your deeper knowing. And you'll never forget that the more of who you are and what you want lies always waiting for you within the attentive love for the details seen with your heart. I told you these would surprise the mind. That's the whole point. So you have things that are recognizable by the mind and then you tweak them in a way that surprises it, which allows the heart to open. So in these exercises, you're using both equally the mind for recognition and the heart to kind of say, well, you know, it's turning left here and we're going. And that's why they're so potent. So I, I wonder what imagine ovation blips you saw, if any, and it's okay. There's no right or wrong, but it's your opportunity to start noticing over time. You know, I tend to really like curves. I tend to like right angles. I tend to like red. I tend to like, that's your heart speaking and they're true. And what it does, these exercises do is allow your heart to speak before the mind comes in and audits the experience. That's why these are important and give them and continue to give them a chance because they're opening you up a little bit more. And look, it's fun. Visit our website for more programmer resources and we welcome feedback. An adventure.